So, Mackenzie, they're handing out lays here for your Heisman campaign. Did you ever think there'd be anything like that, the, the, the McKenzie for Heisman campaign? When you're, when you're in Hawaii as a high school kid, you know, trying to figure out what you're going to do for college, did, 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 it ever, did you ever think it would, it would get this big? I mean, it's something that you dream about. You know, I've always, I've always dreamt big. When you look at Heisman players through the years, there's always going to be a moment, fourth quarter drive, a comeback, or one of those, num those number games where you throw for six touchdowns and he's going to give us a play. And being from Sports Center and, you know, working on ABC on Saturdays, it's the highlight of the day that we're going to talk about, a top ten play. I think McKenzie's going to give us at least a couple of them this season. And if he delivers on a few of them, then you have that Heisman moment. We're just waiting for McKenzie to give us that moment in 2018. You know, McKenzie Millen's Heisman campaign will come down to one thing, and that's winning. Numbers, touchdowns, completion percentages, all, all that stuff is really secondary in the mind of a lot of Heisman voters to winning. With the season UCF had last year and the production Kenzie Milton had, he certainly earned his way into the Heisman race. If UCF goes undefeated again, certainly Mackenzie Milton will be in the thick of that conversation. You know, I think he's an exceptional player. You know, watching him and his progression through the, the last couple of years, he's, uh, it's been so impressive to, to see. You know, just confidence that he, that he has when he gets on the field, the way that he, he makes everybody around him better, the, you know, the leadership. Um, it's, he's definitely uh, one of the nation's best. But if, if he continues to do what he's doing, I think he definitely, uh, definitely deserves any recognition that he gets into the Heisman talks. The kid's dynamic. When you watch the kid play, you hold your breath. You're, you know he's going to make, make plays. And he's also one of those guys that when he has the ball, which will be every snap on offense, you stop what you're doing because you're waiting for him to create. Not many guys have that dynamic where they can create but also deliver with their legs and their arm. Mackenzie Milton's one of those fun quarterbacks to watch in college football because you never know what's going to happen. It doesn't matter if the play breaks down, UCF still has a chance. I mean, there are not many programs in the country where you can say that, where you know there's a quarterback who, if he gets in trouble, it doesn't mean all is lost. And that's one of the most fun things about Mackenzie is when somebody breaks through and when, when a guy misses his block, that's when the real fun starts because he might get away, uh, all of a sudden a receiver might pop open and he hits him way down the field or he just may take off running. Uh, he's always an adventure every time he has the ball. Right. And he's a big play waiting to happen. I mean, they were, I think he averaged about 10 yards per pass last year. That's an elite level. Um, he's got a little bit of Johnny Manziel in his game, but he does have a really good arm. Here's what Mackenzie Milton has going for them. He has the name recognition, right? He has already built up that the the cachet and the credibility off of last year. So if you know UCF goes off again and he has another big year, he's got a leg a leg up on most guys in his position. But here you think about this, Ralph. We spent all off season talking about UCF. I think there's a little more name recognition than than, than people will realize when it comes to Mackenzie Milton. So. Now he's just got to play well enough to keep it going. Just really proud of Mackenzie, you know, as a, also being from Hawaii, just proud of a kid from Hawaii doing so well. You know, if he plays like he did last year, he'll definitely be there. I mean, I, he, I, my mind, he deserved to be there last year. I mean, just a, a phenomenal football player. And I mean, UCF isn't undefeated if, it, if Mackenzie Milton's not there. He deserves all the accolades that he's getting. I mean, he's. I'm mean, speechless about him because he just you watch him play like holy smokes he makes so many plays. Uh, love watching him play, just don't like playing against him. <laughs> well, from most of the conference, I think everyone's kind of upset that he's coming back, and uh, you know he's got a great defense again behind him, another great offensive line, and now a quarterback coach with him that uh, I think knows how to get it done. And then obviously he was an AP Player of the Year back in 2000, so he knows what it's like to run a campaign to get in a big award like the Heisman Trophy. I think he has to repeat what he did last year. I mean, he had an amazing year, and you know, like Ben was talking about with uh, Josh Heupel taking over as the head coach, you've got a guy that's been at that level. You have a guy that's, you know, obviously knows what it takes because you're going to have to put up big numbers, but when you're talking about running backs and quarterbacks continually winning the Heisman Trophy, he's got a great shot to win it.